Hello everyone. Hi. I'm Ravi Handa and welcoming you to the channel Cat Funda. Hope you guys can see me and hear me. In case you can do that, please use the chat window which is given to you. I will be monitoring uh, whatever is happening on chat. Let me just write something there as well. Not sure if you guys can see me. Okay. Yeah, why I think I have it set up. So welcome guys. First of all, this is the first session that I'm having on log. Now I will be conducting another session tomorrow, which will deal with slightly higher level concepts on log and then another one on Sunday. So that's essentially how I'm planning three sessions on log in which I will target to cover from the basics to the advanced ideas. That's essentially you know what my goal is going ahead first of all i'm ravi handa i'm one of the teachers on this channel cat funda i have done my studies from iit kharagpur i have been a cat tutor for 15 plus years and i've taught 20000 plus students online and i have started teaching on an academy a little while a few days ago i will be starting off uh, with the plus courses very very soon in case you are wondering what classes we are going to conduct, what all we are going to cover, then I recommend that you please join us on Telegram. It's a group that we have on Telegram, which is uh, to look for that. You need to look for Cat Prep Online. Cat Prep Online, that's our Telegram group where you can get the updates about all the classes which are coming in, all our schedule. Then uh, An Academy offers you two kinds of subscriptions. One is the plus subscription and another one is the iconic subscription as a part of the plus subscription you get access to all the live classes that are being conducted not just by me but by all the teachers on the unacademy platform also these teachers are conducting classes in a structured format for example if you saw on this channel last week last week i did a couple of classes on quadratic equations first then i did a few on lr and di and now i'm doing a few on logarithms but uh it's good to learn you get to know something new you uh, learn some concepts you become better at preparation but for serious preparation you need a structured course and that's where the plus subscription comes into the picture for the iconic subscription that's uh, you, you get personalized guidance and someone is there, a counselor or some expert from our side to guide you on how to prepare and how to take it forward. With that in mind, we have Vishal. Do you continue these free classes on YouTube at Delhi basis? Well, yeah, Vishal. So my plan is at least to continue till April. See what's the sort of uh, response I get. So if you like the video, if you share the video, if there are more attendees in these classes if more videos are being watched then obviously yes i will plan to i will continue with these classes so let's see how app april pans out but for april yes i have planned classes on a daily basis in the morning i will be conducting classes uh, in hindi so that's in the 11 to 12 time slot and in the evening i will be conducting uh, in classes in english which is the 6 30 to 7 30 time slot so that's broadly what the agenda is now if you are planning to register for one of the courses please do so using uh, the coupon code handa that gets you a 10 percent uh, discount on the same uh, the price for the 12 month course that comes down to 17500 it's 17500 it gets reduced to 15750 these are some of the achievers from our previous batches. Hopefully, if you work hard, you can join this list next year. Now, going ahead uh, with the fundamental concept of logarithm, where I believe a lot of people are not very clear as to what exactly is happening. And that's the reason they get confused by, uh, you know, this particular topic. And that's what I am trying to fix or teach in this particular session so to say please start sort of yes so logarithm i am starting from scratch logarithm i am starting from scratch 
all the courses that I will be conducting on the Unacademy platform will be from scratch. Uh, these three classes that I've planned from Logarithm, I am going uh, from scratch on this particular one. So let's start with something very, very fundamental. If someone tells you that X is the result when A is multiplied with itself B times, how are you going to represent that? X is the value which is the result when A is multiplied with itself B times. The way to represent that, that's the first thing that people would have thought of because when they learned multiplication, so when you have, uh, let's say, 7. So if you want to write down 7, you write down 7 into 7. If you write down it 7 into 7 into 7 or you multiply it 3 times, you can write 7, 7, 7, put multiplication signs in between them and you can be done with it. But what if you have to multiply 7 with itself 22 times? How are you going to represent that? What you are going to do is 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. You write it down 22 times, put multiplication signs in between them. But you needed a new symbol for this idea, a new value to represent this. So what mathematicians decided that they are going to do is they wrote down 7 to the power of 22. Or in our case, when we are talking about A to the power of B, when A is multiplied with itself, B times it becomes A to the power of B or 7 to the power of 22 in our example. Now the other question is that which number, which number multiplied with itself, which number multiplied with itself B times which number multiplied with itself b times gives a. So how are you going to represent that particular value of x? So once again, let me take a particular value that uh, which number multiplied with itself 5 times gives me 32. Which number multiplied with itself instead of b 5 times gives me 32. How are you going to represent that? How are you going to represent that? Which number multiplied with itself B times gives A. To represent that, what you are going to do is, you are going to take a root and you are going to take a fifth root of 32. The answer will be 2. That's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking for the answer. I'm asking how are you going to represent which number multiplied with itself b times or 5 times gives me 32. So to represent that, it would have been that you take the bth root of a. Now these are two representations. I hope Saurabh and Vishal and anyone else watching this class, they are very well aware of. These are some of uh, the most commonly used notations a to the power of b or the bth root of a. The problem with log is that no one or very few students are actually taught what it means. If you pick up a random person who is maybe even in college, forget school and ask him that what does log a to the base b mean? He might not be able to tell you. He'll tell you the values that he is going to obtain or the formulas that he is going to use. And that is the reason. That is the reason why a lot of people find log as a really difficult subject. So that's what you need to understand that if I ask you log a to the base b, what does that mean? What does it mean? Can you represent that in English? So Saurabh or Vishal, would you like to actually try to represent log a to the base b in English? Or let me do that for you. How log came into the picture? People used a to the power b. People used b at root of a. But how many times? How many times B should be
multiplied with itself how many times b should be multiplied with itself to get the value of a and that my friends is the fundamental idea of log how many times should b be multiplied with itself to get the value of a say for example how many times should uh, 3 be multiplied with itself to get 81 that will be represented by log of 81 to the base 3 how many times should 3 be multiplied with itself to get 81 that should happen four times and that is the concept of log how many times should b be multiplied with itself to get a and that value of x will be log of a to the base b how many times should b be multiplied with itself to get a the answer is x or you can also remember this as a is fundamentally nothing else but b to the power of x so b multiplied with itself x times gives me a and this is the base concept this is the base concept of a uh, log which leads to everything else are you guys okay with this as the base concept from which everything else uh, you know can be built on that now and and if you actually understand this then everything else will actually follow from here let me just show you a few of the formulas or few of the ideas that actually follow from here so let's check this so these are some of the basic formulas of log something that uh, you know you should know so how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a square the answer is 2 how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a to the power of 5 the answer is 5 how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get 1 by a now i am confused because i don't know how to a multiply with itself to get 1 by a but please note 1 by a is nothing else but a to the power of minus 1 so when it was 5 my answer was 5 when it was 2 my answer was 2 so when it was minus 1 my answer will be minus 1 how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a c uh, a 1 once again i don't know how to do that but what is 1 1 is a to the power of 0 a to the power of 0 so that once again gives me the answer as zero now if you keep these fundamental ideas in mind if you keep these fundamental ideas in mind then these formulas which a lot of people tell you that you need to mug this formula and then you can apply this formula and all of that you don't need that you don't need that let's see so how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get one zero times which is what we have done here how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a one time that is uh, we haven't done that but we can how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a to the power r so a multiplied with itself to get a to the power 5 the answer is 5 and that's how you get this particular formula now how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get the value of b that would have been log of b to the base of a but here what is happening 1 by b so when it was 1 by b my answer what was the difference of suppose this how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get a the answer was 1 how many times should a be multiplied with itself to get b the answer is log b by a so if i change the question if this a was changed to 1 by a my answer became what from 1 my answer changed to minus 1 so 
So if from A it is going to B, if I change this B to 1 by B, what will happen to my answer? My answer will become minus of log B by A. That is what is happening in this particular case. Now, another idea, another idea that you should be okay with is log of A to the base B is actually nothing else but log of A by log of B. Now, let, let's take some values and maybe, uh, you know, try and figure it out. So, suppose I have log of 32 to the base 2. I know that this is 5. Why? Because I can write this as log of 2 to the base 2 and I can write this as 2 to the power of 5. Which means whatever is in the power, I can take that down. So this becomes 5 of log 2 to the base 2 and 2 to the base 2 or a to the base a is actually 1. So when will it happen that two things they are the same and they will give you the result as 5 or they will cancel out with each other? That will happen because log of let's say a to the base a is actually can be represented as log of a by log of a and they cancel out with each other and they cancel out with each other. So this actually uh, tells us a few things that one thing is that log of a to the power n is nothing else but n log a. That's one of the ideas. The other idea that is being used here, let me, you know, paint it on another sheet. So I have, what's the formula? Log of b to the base a into log of c to the base b. So this is log b by log a into log c by log b. b and b cancels. So I am left with log c by log a which is nothing else but effectively log of c to the base a and that is what is given to us here. Once you have that, see this idea can be applied in multiple ways. This idea can be applied in multiple ways. Please note it is applied in the last formula. Please note that it is applied in the last formula. So log of a to the power n base is a to the power m. So this can be written as divided by log of a to the power m. Numerator becomes n log a. Denominator becomes m log a. Log a log a cancels and I am left with n by m. Are you guys okay with these values? Are you guys okay with these values? Saurabh, Vishal, let me know if you guys are okay with this. Mm. Really see any comments coming in. Okay, so Saurabh is fine. So, along with this, now let us try to maybe solve a question. With this idea, with this concept, let's go ahead and try to solve a very, very basic question based on this. So, let's try this one. I hope you guys can see the question on your screen. I hope you guys can see the question on your screen. Please try and solve this. Please write done when you are done and let me know the value or the option that you get as an answer for this. Let me know the value or the option that you get as an answer for this and I will take it forward from there. Saurabh, Vishal, if you have any answers for this, any idea for this, please let me know. 
so that I can go ahead and explain this one. Anyone, any suggestions, any ideas? How can you actually calculate this? How do you actually get to the answer with this? You guys, whenever you have an equation, any equation, I, I hope you guys would have done questions when you had something in the LHS and you had something in the RHS. And to solve this, uh, you squared both sides. That's a popular way of solving a question. Sometimes you will multiply both sides with three or multiply both sides with the same value. Very similar to that, if you are trying to solve a question, you can also do another thing. And what is that thing that you can take log of both sides, log of both sides, which is uh, a to the power x and p to the power of y, you take log of both sides, what are you going to get? You will get log of a to the power of x is equal to log of b to the power of y. And once you have that, this becomes x log a and the other side becomes y log b when you have x log a and when you have y log b you can bring the log b to the other side this becomes log a by log b is equal to y by x log a by log b is equal to y by x do i have that in the options yes i have that in the options as option c and that becomes my answer here and that becomes my answer here. Hope you guys are okay with that. Okay. Going ahead, let's try out one more a uh, question or a concept based on this. I'm assuming you guys are okay with this one. Let me just remove this then. These were some of the formulas. Let's try and look at another set of formulas, another set of concepts based on this very same thing, based on the very same thing of logs and the fundamental idea of how log is calculated and how log is found out. So the first one says log of m n is actually log m plus log n. So to understand this, let me take some values. Suppose you have to find out log of 64 into 16 to the base 2. Now there are two ways of doing this. One way is I use this so log of 2. So this is 2 to the power of 6 into 2 to the power of 4, which means this is log of 2 to the power of 6 into 2 to the power of 4 becomes 6 plus 4 or 2 to the power of 10, 2 to the power of 10 with the base as 2. So the 10 comes down, this becomes 10 log 2 to the base 2, log a to the base a, which we had already discussed, log a to the base a, a should be multiplied with itself how many times to get a, it should be multiplied with itself once to get a and that gives me the value as 1 or my answer comes out as 10. 
that is your uh, one way of calculating when you're making all the calculations inside itself and applying the log part at the end. When you are making all the calculations uh, inside it and applying it, applying it later. The other way is that you split this. You split this. So what I'm going to do is individually, I'm going to look at the values of log 64 to the base 2 and log 16 to the base 2. Individually, these values are 6 and 4. I know my answer needs to be 10. So how am I going to get the answer as 10? I'm going to get the answer as 10 by adding them 6 plus 4. So this becomes plus, which means log of A into B will be log A plus log B, which will be log A plus log B. So these are the values. Now, if instead of this multiplication, if instead of this multiplication, this was a division that is 64 by 16 to the base 2, then what will you do? In that case, also a very similar idea. Either you can calculate it inside. So 64 by 16 is 4. Log 4 to the base 2 is actually 2. Or you could do it individually, which is log 64 to the base 2. Then I have log of 16 to the base 2. So I have the values as 6 and 4. And I want my end result to be 2. How do I get that end result to be 2? End result will be 2 when these are between these two values. So 6 minus 4 comes out as 2. The other one, when it is in par, I believe we already discussed that the par comes down. And if two logs are equal, their values which are inside them, they are also going to be equal. They are also going to be equal. And with that as the idea or that as the fundamentals for log, we will now try to solve some more questions on log. Hopefully you will get those right. We discuss the first question. Let's have a look at the second one. Okay, I think the decimals are not shown here. So this one is 0 0.01. This one is 0 0.1. Then I have 1, 10, 100. So these are my values here, which you are trying to find out. If there is anyone who does not know what sigma means, let me clarify that for you. So suppose you have sigma of i, which goes from 7 to say 11. And the equation is 2i plus 5. What this means is that you are going to put 7 in place of i. So 14 plus 5 is 19. Then from 7 to 11, you are going to put all the values. So if you put 8, 16 plus 5 is 21. Then you put 9. So 18 plus 5, 23. Then you put 10, you have 25. Then you put 11, you have 22 plus 5, 27. Add them all up. So 19 and 21 is 40. 23 plus 27 is 50. 40 plus 50 is 90. 90 plus 25 is 115. So this sigma is nothing else but essentially a representation of the data where you are adding a few things. So what is given to us here? Sigma of 1 by log of 100 factorial to the base i where i goes from 2 to 100. Might look scary, but uh, trust me on this, it isn't a very difficult question. Please try and solve this. Please write down when you are done and I will explain this shortly. Saurabh, Vishal, anyone else, if you need a hint with this, please let me know. I'll try and help you with the same.
I'll try and help you with the same. Please try this out. Please write done when you are done. I'll just remove this, what is on the screen. And maybe just write down some of the values. So I have 1 by log of 100 factorial, where i goes from 2 to 100, to the base 2, plus 1 by log of 100 factorial, to the base 3 plus 1 by log of 100 factorial to the base 4 and this goes on and this goes on till 1 by log of 100 factorial to the base 100. Uh, Saurabh, you can just tell me which step did you not understand. You can tell me which step did you not understand. I'll happily repeat that. Did you not understand how I have put in the value of sigma? Is that an issue? The sigma part? Let me try and look at individual values. So, Suppose I focus only on this, only on this. Log A to the base B is log A by log B. Log A to the base B. Okay, so forget about the sigma part. Sigma part, what it says is that instead of I, which is the base, you will put 2, 3, 4 till 100. You will put all those values. You start solving from here, this is where the log comes into the picture. So, do you agree with this? So, that I can rewrite this as log of 100 factorial by log 2, which means that the first term is log of 2 divided by log of 100 factorial. Saurabh, are you okay if I write this first term as log of 2 divided by log of 100 factorial? Then, I can write the second term. I can write the second term very similarly as log of 3 by log of 100 factorial. I can write the next term as log of 4 by log of 100 factorial. And this go on till my last term which will be log of 100 by log of 100 factorial. Now please note that all the denominators are the same. If all the denominators are the same, I can take them as the common denominator of log by 100 factorial, log 100 factorial. In the numerator, what will I have? In the numerator, I will have log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 and so on till 100. Now, what was log A plus log B? log a plus log b was log of a into b. So if log a plus log b was log of a into b, then my numerator here will become what? My numerator here will become log of 2 into 3 into 4 till 100. Now what is 2 into 3 into 4 till 100? That is nothing else but 100 factorial. So my numerator becomes log of 100 factorial. My denominator 
was already log of 100 factorial log of 100 factorial by log of 100 factorial cancels and I get 1 as my overall answer here and I get 1 as my overall answer here. Saurabh, are you okay with these values? Getting 1 as my overall answer here? Let me know if you want me to, you know, repeat any part of this. Let me know if you want me to repeat any part of this. If not, I will move ahead in my slides. So, uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you is that on Unacademy, the tests are conducted on a weekly basis, on a daily basis as well. In the daily test, there are 10 questions which you need to answer in 30 minutes and based upon your performance in those, you can actually get Amazon vouchers worth rupees 18,000 every week. Uh, there is a weekly scholarship test which is conducted which gives you access to, uh, you know, competition with all the best candidates all over India. And to activate this test, you need to use a coupon code. The coupon code that you can use is HANDA that will give you access to this particular test. To ask it out, all you need to do on an academy is maybe just click a picture, add it up and someone from our team will be able to answer those doubts for you. And if you haven't installed the Unacademy app yet, please do that. And when you are installing, once again, remember to use the referral code as Honda to unlock a bunch of features. Now, that being said, let's try one more question on log. Let's try one more question on log. This one looks scary. This one looks scary, but it isn't, but it isn't. If you understand it, if you try to do it from the basics, don't be worried about it. This is one of the simpler uh, questions from log. This is one of the simpler questions from log. Please try and solve this. Please write done when you are done. So this is root of 21. Root of x plus 21 and root of x. If you feel confused with this, if you need a hint, just type hint in the chat box and I will provide you with a hint on how to solve this question. How to solve this question. Let me know if you want hint or help to solve this question. If you can do this on your own, brilliant. I hope that at least some of you should be, you know, able to do this on your own. Okay, let me try and help you with a hint. So suppose log of a to the base 13. a to the base 13 is 0. That will mean the value of a is 13 to the power of 0, which is 1. If you remember in the very first thing when we said a by b is x, that means a is b to the power of x because the fundamental idea is how many times should 13 be multiplied with itself to get a particular value of a and if that particular value is 0, if 13 should be multiplied with itself 0 times to get a, that means the value of a is 1. Very similarly, if you had log of b to the base 21 as 1, that will mean the value of b is 
simply speaking 21 to the power of 1 which is actually 21. Maybe with this you can uh, perhaps solve this question now if you were not able to solve this question earlier. Maybe with this you can solve the question now if you were not able to solve the question earlier. Okay, let me go ahead with this. So, basically what I am trying to say here is the portion that I am underlining, this entire portion can be considered as A. So, log of A to the base 13 is 0. That means the value of A is 1 or that means log of bracket root of x plus 21 plus root of x to the base 21 is actually 1. Now, if you consider whatever is inside the bracket part as b, then log of b to the base 21 is 1. That means the value of b is nothing else but 21. What is my b? b is root of x plus 21 plus root of x which comes out as 21. Now what value of x can you fit here? Let's go ahead with the options. If I put x at option a, so I will have root of 42 plus root of 21. So this is an irrational number. This can never be equal to 21. Not my answer. If I put the value of b, 21 plus 13 is root of 34 plus root of 13. Is that equal to 21? No, once again it is not. C, root of 81 plus 21. So that is root of 104, 10 point something plus root of 81 is 9. So this comes out as 19 point something something but this is still not 21. So for the answer to be 21, I know the value of x has to be greater than 81. So very clearly, A, B, C are not the answers, but definitely my answer is D. But if this was a fill in the blank question and I actually asked you what value of X would fit, so then you know that 9 is not fitting. It should be bigger than 9. Another thing that you should know for this is square root of X should exist. So perfect square greater than 81, that is 100. So let's try that. If I put X equal to 100, what do I get? Once I put x equal to 100, I get the value as root of 121 plus root of 100. So that is 11 plus 10 and that comes out as 21. 11 plus 10, that comes out as 21, which means the value of x that we were looking for in this particular question is indeed 100. Is indeed 100. I hope you guys are okay with this. Then I will move on to maybe couple more questions. We can try them today. Let us try this one. Let's try and solve this particular question. What do you think would be the answer for this one or how will you actually, you know, calculate the answer for this one? Let me know if you have any ideas, any suggestions on how to figure out this value.
2 is the logarithm of a number to the base root 3. 2 is the logarithm of a number to the base root 3. So this is given to you in a you know slightly complicated format. What this effectively means is that log of that log of x to the base root 3 is given to me as 2. Then find out the logarithm of the same number for the base 3 root 3. So now we need to find out the logarithm of the same number that is x to the base of 3 root 3. This is what the question is asking me. Any ideas, any suggestions? How will you proceed with this? How will you find out this particular value? Anything that you can recommend? So something like this. Okay, let's check. First of all, in this case, what will be the value of x? a to the base b is c, then a, which is x here, is b to the power of c or root 3 square, which comes out, root 3 square, which comes out as 3. So now what I need to do is log of 3 to the base of 3 root 3. Now, I can rewrite this as log of 3 divided by log of 3 root 3, which is effectively log of 3 divided by log of 3 to the power of 1.5, because that is what 3 root 3 is. So that becomes log 3 divided by 1.5 log 3 log 3 and log 3 cancel, I am left with 1 by 1.5 or 1 by 3 by 2 or I get 2 by 3 as my final value or I get 2 by 3 as my final answer for this particular question which is given to me as C, which is given to me as C. I hope you are okay with this. In that case, maybe we have time to, you know, try out another question. Let's try this one. We are given log of AB to the base A is given to us as X. Log of AB to the base A is given to me as X. Then I am supposed to find out log of AB to the base B. Log of AB to the base B is what I am supposed to find out. So how do I go ahead and actually calculate this value? So how do I go ahead and actually calculate uh, this value? What can I do? What can I do to get to the answer for this? Any ideas, any suggestions? Let's check. So, here we have log of AB to the base A as X, which means log of a to the base A plus log of B to the base A is given to me as X, which means log of 
b to the base a is actually equal to log of a to the base a is 1. So log of b to the base a is actually equal to x minus 1. Let's keep this in mind. Let's keep this as one of the values that we need. Then what do I have? What is the question asking me? The question is asking me to find out the value of log of a b to the base b. So that will be log of a to the base b plus log of b to the base b. So that is log of a to the base b plus 1. Now, now I know log of b to the base a or log b by log a is x minus 1. So if b to the base a is x minus 1 or log b by log a is x minus 1, then a to the base b or log a by log b will be what? It will be the reciprocal of it. So it is going to be 1 by x minus 1 plus 1. It will be 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 which gives me the value as 1 plus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 which gives me the value as 1 plus x minus 1 divided by minus 1 x minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 cancels. So I get the value as x by x minus 1. So I get the value as x by x minus 1 which is once again given to me as option C which is once again given to me as option C. And I think what we are going to do is, this is probably the last question that we are going to discuss today. So once again, thanks a lot for all of you to, you know, coming to class, attending the class. In case you have any doubts or any questions that you want to discuss with me or anything else, then please feel free to email me on ravihanda at the rate gmail.com. Mention your contact number in that as well in case, uh, you know, there is some discussion that needs to be had. I will respond to you on email. In case uh, you are planning to register for one of my courses on an academy, please remember to use the coupon code HANDA. For log, I am taking another class tomorrow at the same time at 6.30 p.m in which we will discuss slightly more advanced stuff. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Please remember to like and share the videos that you see. It's your subscribing, liking and sharing, which encourages us to create more and more content. And with that, I'd like to sign off today. Thanks a lot for coming to class. For any of the products or services on Unacademy, please remember to use the coupon code HANDA. That's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming.